Today we're going to take a closer look at what it takes to change the media on two mobile printers. The first is the Datamax O'Neill MF2TE. And in effect, changing the media on this particular printer uh, requires two hands and seven different steps. So the first step is to unlatch the uh, cover of the printer, which is on the bottom, and then hold that out of the way then as you take the media and insert it into the media holder. Make sure that that effectively snaps in place. Uh, the next step then is to uh, release this lever that uh, helps guide the media uh, against the platen roller. Uh, the next step then is to feed the media through the media guide here. Okay. And uh, give yourself enough media and then close this lever that locks in effect, the media against the platen roller and print head. Now, the media needs to be fed through a secondary slot uh, that contains the tear bar. And then uh, the final step here is to close the cover of the printer and latch it. And the tear motion, as you can see, is an upward pull of the media. Okay, the next printer we're going to talk about is the Intermec PR2. And loading the media on this printer is a single-handed operation that requires three steps. So the first step is literally opening the media door. Next step is inserting the media. Third step is closing the media door. Now the option to tear is either in an upward or downward motion. We'll demonstrate an upward motion as such.